How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we are going to be looking at, uh, well, it's diecast, but it is going to be a bit of a strange one. Um, we are looking into the future. Uh, this uh, apparently is maybe an aircraft that's supposed to be designed many years into the future. It is an aerospace fighter, so I'm assuming that it is technology that can allow, um, you know, obviously uh, the fighter to uh, go into the atmosphere. It is uh, a weird looking aircraft. It is... Uh, We'll open up this flap. Now, on the uh, flap here, there is a timeline. So you can see a MiG-21 there, or the Chinese variant uh, from 1980. And there is a timeline of uh, designs that they have planned. And our aircraft is actually sitting right there at 2044. But there is some really um, interesting designs. Whether they come to fruition or not, I do not know. But I saw this and I thought, you know what? Something bloody different. How about we uh, check it out? And uh, yeah, it does look quite interesting though it is quite large as you can see there this is 172nd scale so i um, mean it is it is uh comparative to the aircraft that we do normally look at um it does look to have some uh, ordnance there a little collector card of some sort um some ordnance there it looks like a massive sort of rail gun that uh, is attached to the aircraft obviously and um a, a weird looking stand so this well it does look interesting so that's why i grabbed it and i figured probably most of you probably won't even pull the trigger on one of these um, but you might want to check it out. So I figured I'll spend my money so you don't have to. So what we'll do is I'll shut up and I'll open this box so we can check out this interesting aircraft from the future. <laughs> Alright, here it is out of the box. It does come with this booklet, which I do not understand any of the uh, writing, obviously. For some of you that might, uh, you could probably explain it in the comments of what all this means. There is some other aircraft that you can obviously uh, get in this range. That is ours, of course, there. There is some really out, right out there aircraft, and uh, yeah, it does look very interesting, of course. But let us uh, check out the aircraft on the hand. Um, it is obviously uh, brand new. So we'll be checking this out together. Uh, come on. All right. Wow, that looks absolutely nuts. So there is obviously a collector card of sort. Um, well, it helps if I hold it the right way. Or is it? <laughs> there we go. Man, that looks really cool. Uh, combined Test and Evaluation Squadron 42. So, um, yeah, it looks very uh, official and realistic. You do also get this little card here, which is a sort of a paper one. Um, I don't know, it looks like there's a... A little serial number that you can sort of scrub off here yeah that is weird um, do we scrub it off or do we leave it now we'll, we'll just leave that all right so we have a little baggie in here that does have um, well a couple of little pieces that we do obviously need to affix and we do have what looks to be a uh, complement of missiles which that looks pretty cool got some nice detail on there now, this is what I do assume is... Wow, Jesus, that's... <laughs> that is quite heavy. That is the stand. Uh, oh, yeah. Jeez, that's... Solid metal. That is really solid. Um, that is hard plastic or metal. That is metal, but plastic underneath. But that will be the stand. That is pretty... Um, right out there. Pretty cool. And then, of course, you've got this, which uh, sits underneath the aircraft, similar to, I suppose, like your uh, Robotech Macross uh, aircraft, but this looks like it's some sort of um, maybe a railgun or something. I am not exactly sure. Uh, the, um, there is no instructions or specifications that I can read, but, hey, if you know, feel free to drop in uh, a comment below of uh, what it is. Now, uh, there's a tie down there. <laughs> can, uh, oh, hang on. Oh, that's lucky. Let's have a little look, Let's see if we can get that out. We can. I don't think there's anything else in there. So, oh, that's a bit of a bummer, because it might be no landing gear options. 
Oh, that sucks for me because I'm a gear down guy. <laughs> see what happens when I see something that looks really cool and I impulsively buy it. I don't actually check to see if it has the uh, options that I like to display it in. But, hey, you'll probably uh, enjoy what you're going to see anyway, hopefully. Let's see if we can get this uh, to actually cut off. Because that's going to look crap in the video, isn't it? Well, this um, it actually, well, it doesn't weigh as much as I thought it was going to weigh, but, jeez, uh, the detail, <laughs> it is pretty cool. I got this uh, off AliExpress. So you got, well, you got these big hinges there. Oh, that's a little bit rough. There's these big hinges here. I don't know if that's going to be on the actual aircraft. It, there is an actual aircraft. Man, this looks insane, though. That does look pretty cool. I don't think there's... Oh, oh well, okay, there's these moving parts. So the wings can um, fold, fold in, if you want to have them folded in. Now, you do get some ordnance, of course, so I suppose we should be able to just uh, slip that eh, in like that, I suppose. Yeah, that's pretty cool. We should be able to do the same on here as well. And that should be that. We've got it all kitted out. We might as well put the um, underneath the weapon on as well. I'm assuming it just goes in these two holes right there. That is absolutely badass. <laughs> well, that looks mad. <laughs> but this has um, definitely got a lot of nice detail in it. So for, I don't know, maybe sci-fi guys out there and girls, uh, if this might appeal to you, it is, um, yeah, die-cast. There is a fair metal feel sort of to it, um, but there is a bit of a plasticky feel to it as well. But there is a reasonable weight through there. It does Oh, yeah, that opens up to reveal a cockpit, but there's nothing in there. <laughs> so maybe uh, the future holds, um, I don't know, a big computer <laughs> that sits in there and will control the aircraft uh, autonomous or something like that man but the the actual model itself does look absolutely cool <laughs> for um, something that's well not real so it's got a little bit of engine detail in there yeah I reckon it's pretty cool though hopefully you do agree there'll be the purists out there that'll not because um, it's not a real aircraft it's it's purely speculation but uh, i reckon just for um entertainment and face value this does make me smile and i do enjoy it it does look pretty cool it'll sit on my little sci-fi shelf where i've got my uh, macross uh, aircraft so that is pretty damn sweet but uh well i suppose um we have to put it on the stand which Okay, well, that's wrong way, so I suppose I like that. And that... <laughs> we better zoom out a bit. Jeez, this is quite quite large. And this is what it's going to look like on the stand. This is absolutely huge, as you can see. So you, you do uh, get a reasonably big aircraft for um, what you're buying. And, uh, yeah, if this kind of stuff interests you, you'll be pretty happy with it. It does look pretty... Pretty sweet, and uh, yeah, as I said, you can fold the wings in for storage on uh, some sort of aircraft carrier of some sort in the future. You do get um, some spare pylons too if you don't want to have the missiles on there. Oh, and I think oh, I think I left a part off. Hang on. Yeah, so you get this little part here that needs to go right in there. That's better. So that's what the um, the aircraft does look like. Uh, what we'll do is we'll. Um, Put it back on the stand and I suppose we'll weigh the uh, whole whole lot because this is how you're going to display it. You don't get a gear down option. Wow, this is a big beast. So we've got uh, 776 grams for this uh, big beast right here. That is pretty cool. Uh, yeah, all right, I'm going to wind up the video. <laughs> um, uh, look, I just, as I said, I just wanted to bring something a little bit different to you guys to check out. Um, a lot of you, you may not watch it, may not care for it, you may not like it at all, you might think it's complete garbage. But uh, hopefully it did, um, you know, just show you something else that's out there if you decide to pull a trigger on something a little bit sci-fi.
and overall it presents really well. My only um, issue is no gear down for me. So you in flight guys, win on this one. All right, I'll uh, take some photos of this, of course, and you can check it out uh, without my sausage fingers all over it. Uh, of course, if you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget, throw me uh, some of those. And always feel free to subscribe to the channel as well. All right, everyone, thank you very much for uh, watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, little bit of uh, something from the future, and uh, it was at least uh, pleasing to your eyeballs and entertaining in some sort of way. All right, thank you for watching, and you all have an awesome rest of your day. Cheers, everyone.